I like to watch and today we are reacting to Invincible Season 2 Episodes 3 and 4. Let's get into it. Hello, hello, hello. Um, Alright, we are continuing our Invincible Season 2 journey. The first two episodes were really awesome. Not as good as last season, in my opinion. Um, so I rated them a little bit lower than I probably normally would have, but that's okay because I know that this show is probably just going to go up, 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 up. <laughs> right. Um, Alright, well, you know what? I don't even really have all that much to say. I just want to get to this episode, these two episodes. I really enjoy Sterling K. Brown. I figured out whose voice that was from last episode. I really enjoy uh, his acting so far. I would say probably, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting for him to get super like intimidating or maybe, you know what, you know what, the way that the show goes, he's probably not even gonna be like the main sort of focus throughout each episode. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of obstacles that Mark and the gang are going to have to face. Um, and that includes uh, probably inevitably freaking Omni-Man. Uh, so yeah. All right. Let's get to it. Uh, this is Invincible Season 2, Episodes 3 and 4. Mark's going to college. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess this is it like that. time to push my baby bird out of the nest. Oh. It's a good thing I can already fly. You know I can be home in like five minutes if you need me. I'll be fine. You sure about that, Debbie? Part of it. Part of the grieving. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Oh, this past year has just been so... Tough. All parents say the same thing when they drop their kids <laughs> off at college. Yeah. Kind of feel like it. But college is a fresh start, and I want you to enjoy every second mm. of it. This is your chance to figure out who you are. And I don't mean invincible. I mean Mark Grayson. It's really cute that she's encouraging him. My baby. Even though she's probably feeling right. really okay. crummy right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Debbie. Oh, that's that card that Olga gave her. Olga told me about you. I've been expecting Old ass a names. Seance dog? Really? What are we? Twelve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of grown ass men with the uh, posters on their walls from when they were 12 years old. So like, let's not, let's not uh, pretend here. He threw his figurines away! Mark, don't get peer pressured. It's cool Sorry. now. It's cool to be a nerd. I was thinking. <laughs> well, easy safe, safe, safe stop. Who has sex on the first day of college? I don't know, Mark. Lots of people probably. Like you two! We have the whole place to ourselves. Uh, okay, I mean... Yeah, like. Oh my god, are they gonna have their first time? We could. On the first day of college. Oh my god, I was such a prude. I, I, I would never. I bought these. Oh, okay. Wait, you don't have like super sperm or something, do you? Girl. I mean, it seems normal. Not that I would. I, I think it's fine. And what a you question! Didn't accidentally crush me or something? I've seen what you can do. Uh -huh. No. I would never, that's not like a thing I would do. Maybe we'll try with me on top, just to be safe. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I understand those concerns. <laughs> How'd you do that? Superpowers, baby. Don't call me baby. Got it. <laughs> She's so bossy. I love it. <laughs> and so, dear audience, perhaps it's time to give Amber and Mark some privacy. Yes, perhaps it's time. I can't find my water. Stars. Hold on. And a story that began generations ago in this missive, this machination. Oh, the one-eyed peeps. Like, uh, what's his face? What's his voice? Seth Rogen. The Unopens that died never knew who their conquerors were. The ones that... Those fucking, fucking Viltrumites. Viltrumite. Yeah. Of course. Is that... Omni-Man, young Omni-Man. They waited for a moment of weakness and rebelled. That looks like... Is that the kind of weapon that uh, we saw in the first episode? They still underestimated their oppressors. Damn. Damn! Ah! <laughs> ah! But all was...
was not lost. Ever resourceful, some Unopans were able to escape, abandoning their home for the stars and the promise of a new life. They started breeding camps on various That's a lot of fucking outlets lakes. to rebuild their That's population. A lot of lakes. The rumors of which caught some very powerful galactic attention. Thetis, the leader of the Coalition of Planets. You have our deepest sympathies, Marvin of Unopa. We are currently devising a weapon to stop them. Alan. Oh, okay. He was the first and only. Alan. From the day he was born, <laughs> Alan was trained to be the greatest fighter the universe had ever known. His feet. But while stronger than most of the universe, Alan still couldn't match even a single Viltramite in combat. Instead, Alan was made a planetary evaluation officer and sent to discover any being able to defeat him in hope of finding an ally strong enough to withstand a Viltramite. Because sometimes, to change the entire universe, you have to be... Alan! Oh, that's cute. I love the music in this show. Can't play any of it, but I love it. Home sweet home. Hey, Seth Rogen. Data log. Hello to you, too. Here you go. Hmm. Hmm. Weird face. Like somebody stuck a face you inside found the right planet this time. Their face. Yes, I found the right planet. Because <laughs> it was the wrong planet you found before. Don't make so many astronavigational mistakes. Listen, Sparky, <laughs> is it still a mistake? Sparky sounds kind of like the alien from American Dead. The Viltramites hit Acreon while you were gone. <laughs> what? They just joined the council. It's terrified the sector. Other planets we were talking to cut all communications. We need more allies. Then good thing I found us one. What news, Alan of you know? What news, Alan of you know? I'm the Earth champion. That a Viltramite lives among his people? He's a Viltramite too. His name is Mark, and he's only half Viltramite. I know, it sounds bad, but he is not like them. <laughs> <laughs> I love cartoon kerfluff. What? 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 Viltramite against Viltramite. We can never trust one of them. Mark isn't like other Viltramites. He just wants to protect his world and conquer others. He's a good guy, not a conqueror. For years, we've been searching for a hole in the Viltramite's armor. This could be it. Alan is right. <laughs> Viltramites never abandoned Look at Alan their giving respect. Yet one has. One has. Viltramites do not battle each other. But a son Shh. defies his father. These are weaknesses and ones we must learn to exploit. You have done well, Alan. Yeah, go and Alan. Given us much to discuss. I find it convenient and somewhat alarming that Acreon was hit so soon after joining the coalition. Oh, got some spy shit. It's as if the Viltramites had knowledge from inside the council. You want me to discover if someone's betrayed us? Is Alan uh, equipped? Alan, you continue that... to prove <laughs> yourself the coalition's most valuable asset. Thank you, sir. If there's a mole, I'll find them. How you go do that, baby? Nice apartment. Nice digs. Hey, Vor. Don't they have two hey, buttholes? Did you miss me? <laughs> you did miss your daddy, didn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Is she the mole? Huh? Did you miss me? Oh. oh I missed you. Oh. Yeah, how much? They're not supposed to be black. Like That's basically what that is. Now. Oh, goodness. that's not uh, right. Would be a good time to return to Earth and rejoin Amber Bennett and Mark Grayson mm. as they mm -hmm. begin their studies. Oh, oh no, nope. not ready. Uh, no, not ready. Let's not do that then. Uh, uh, aha! <laughs> Here we find the Unopen feline. Unopen feline. But that doesn't stop him from having all manner of household mm. adventures. Done. <laughs> I don't know how you eat cans lock. It's disgusting. He doesn't think so. Oh my god. 
Hey, what did Thetis want to talk about after the council meeting? Is she the mole? Thetis thinks there's a mole. And I... Yeah, Alan Thetis! Whoa! The fuck? What just happened? Oh shit! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! They're gonna kill him! Uh, there's three of them! Open. Answer our questions and we will consider sparing your life. That is not your style. Isn't it kill first, ask questions, never? You will tell us everything about your encounter with the Viltramite of Earth. Oh shit. I mean, they do have them all. Technically a question. If are you certain he sired an No, Alan! Are you certain he abandoned his post? Where is the father now? The father? Which one was he again? You Pyclops all kind of look the same to me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God, Alan! Oh no. Oh god. Damn. Oh, he survived. Oh my god. How did he survive? Great Thetis. How is he? Uh, alive for now. It How the hell do you like survive it. getting your damn but guts clutched out? cause for celebration. <laughs> they once again underestimate the inopen will to survive. I know you and Alan are special to one another. To come here, attack Alan at home. The Viltramites must know we've discovered something. And we will exploit it. I will watch over him. Fuck! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. Oh no! Uh... Forgive me, Alan. Man! Forgive, Forgive shit! I don't like that. Come on, come two on. more, two more. Being able to spot yourself is pretty cool. Cause I don't like people, and I don't like gyms because I don't like people. What's up, bricks? Nothing. Get out of here. Are we gonna talk about this, or is it just gonna be awkward? I don't think he's mature enough for that, babe. Uh, the second one? Yeah. You cheated on me with the immortal. You cheated on your last girlfriend. You were cheating on Eve with me first. That worked out in your favor. Wow. You are unbelievable. Okay, so I'm too young for you now. I I is that it? No, Rex. You're just an asshole. Well, how is that news? News is that assholes are not in anymore. They have gone out of fashion. Nobody likes assholes anymore, especially not women. I mean, sorry, but also not. I was the only person I've ever met who's died as many times as I have. He gets it. Is he having a moment? Rex no. Doesn't. I get that you shouldn't be eavesdropping. Hello, chums. I'd like to run while remaining in a stationary location. Is that cool, Beans? Where are you from? I gotta side with Rex on that shit. I really need to know how, why they just let this guy be that odd and just hang out. They talk about the physical symptoms of grief. When the thought of her takes me by surprise in the middle of the day, it's like... Oh! Um, spouses of superheroes. Something. There's nothing to That's grab. why I know last names. It's terrifying. Well, you gotta try something, Debbie. Let's take a few, everybody. Carol? Hi, you must be Debbie. I am so sorry about the other day. My three-month-old has the worst colic right now. My son, he was such a fussy baby. <laughs> I love they look like bitch. Uh, who are you touching? We're not that different from other support groups, except we're even more strict when it comes to identity. First names only. Have a seat. 
All right, everybody, who's up? Hi, Hi Lucinda. Hi, Lucinda. Did you move after your partner passed away? I moved the furniture. Couldn't afford to relocate. I stayed for my son, but now? I don't know. Problem is, where would I go? So much of it still feels connected to him. What a Christmas Eve. We even made a snowman at the North Pole. My son cried when he didn't see Santa's workshop, so we told him we'd gone to the South Pole by mistake. <laughs> Sounds like you two had a pretty amazing life together. We did. You can still be angry. That's okay. God knows I am. <sighs> I wish I could tell you it gets easier, but Alana's been gone nearly a year, and I still reach across the bed for Alana, her. Alana, 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 Alana. Alana? Who's Alana? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was the green ghost. Guess I just broke rule oh, over one of God, us. Oh, God. She died horribly. Not that it matters now, since she got murdered by that alien psychopath. I need to use the restroom. Are you okay? No, I'll, I'll be right back. <sighs> oh my god, you had sex with Amber! <laughs> William! I want all the details. Wait, no, <laughs> we're roommates now. This is what roommates talk about. <laughs> I <laughs> totally do. How was Mr. Is this your stuff? That hot guy from earlier. I came back and you had the sock on the door. Way to be uh, secure in your masculinity, Mark. Being able to admit that that guy was hot without being Wait, you thought funny about it. Super flattered. But I'm kind of still screwed up about what happened to Rick. Rick. I always imagined oh, we'll his boyfriend that got turned into like a robot so thing or something. Better. Mark Grayson? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? For you. What? Oh, Whoa! I need your help. <laughs> Sans dog isn't real. He's a comic book character. In your dimension, yes. But there exists myriad other worlds where dogs and magic are as real as the air you breathe. We have dogs. <laughs> dogs and magic. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Last chance. Who are you and what do you want? I'm sorry. My disguise was meant to disarm you. What the hell is but that? if I appear to something you love. Disarm me for what? My name is Nualza. I am from the planet Thraxa. My people sent me to plead for your help. Thraxa? It's a couple galaxies away, uh, give or take. I mean, not very far. You, you go, it doesn't matter. <laughs> How do you know who I am? Rumors of the one they call Invincible have spread like wildfire. Your speed, your strength. You are the only one who can save our people from the meteor showers destroying our world. We believe in you, Mark Grayson. Guess he's gonna go. No, you can't just go to some random planet with some random alien. Are you insane? The Guardians can keep an eye on things while I'm gone. Look, a, a lot of people died because of me, Cecil. This is a chance to save lives. You better really go to another planet with a bug man. Hey, how long until we get to Thraxa? Approximately six of your Earth days. Space sucks. I would have brought some stuff <laughs> to entertain myself. Debbie, are you okay? Trauma dumping, bro. It takes time to heal. I can't heal because my husband's not dead. He's just gone. Because he murdered Alana and the other guardians and almost killed my son, too. Your husband. Your husband's mm, Omni. Yeah, he's not I gonna sympathize with he you. He was Nolan Grayson, but that wasn't true. The last 20 years of my life have been a lie. I wish he was dead. I wish I could grieve and move on, but I can't. I, I can't. I wish he was dead, too. But not for your sake. You shouldn't come back to the group. Wouldn't be a safe space with you there. I didn't know. You should have. How? My guy? We're here. Uh, hi? They all look the same. Come. The monarch wants to meet you at once. What exactly about this planet needs saving? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. 
It looks pretty peaceful. What meteors? Oh! Whoa! The ones that are killing billions? Oh, yeah! Those meteors! You know, must be a touch of dementia. We age much quicker than you humans, you know. Uh, don't worry. The monarch will explain all. This is a trap! Damn it! Cecil was right. Hello, son. Oh! Oh, shit! That was a hard episode to watch. Oh no, not Nick Cave! Ah, oh! such good music. This is perfect song for this freaking dude. I do not feel sorry for him. I just don't. I just see this as nothing but a consequence of his cruelty. Sure, you know, you were raised to be this way, and it's all you know. And it might have traumatized him a little bit, but it's still a choice that he makes. The choice to do the things that he does. He chose to murder the guardians of the globe. He chose to beat his son nearly to death. You know, he chose to do all those things. So, oh, go ahead, throw yourself into a black hole, babe. Go right ahead. No, no, keep going. Hmm. I guess that's how he met the Draxons. Wait! We owe you our lives. Won't you stay? Tell us your name. Hello, son. It's been a while. Ooh! Dad? This is tense. Family Man is fucking terrifying. Can't stand his ass. I mean, you know, I understand. I, I missed you. The boy loves his father. This was all you? Yes. The Thraxans told me that they needed my help. They do need your help. Come with me and... Now, why would you lie to me again? We killed thousands of people. Yes. You called Mom a pet. Mark, I need your help. I can't believe you put them up to this. Made them lie to me, too. Mark, look, I made a mistake. A mistake? What do you want me to say, Mark? You could have started with, I'm sorry. I don't think he is. You know what? Don't bother. All right? It wouldn't mean anything anyway. Fuck you. Where you gonna go, Mark? You'll never make it home on your own. Watch me. Mark, it's millions of miles, and you don't know the way. Come back, and we'll talk. What are you going to do if I don't? Knock all my teeth out again? I'll get you a ship home, but there's something you need to see first. No, I don't care. I know that's not true. Five minutes for them, not you. <sighs> He's so manipulative. I don't like him. What are you up to, bro? Great. I didn't conquer the Thraxons. They asked me to be their emperor. Emperor, conqueror, what's the difference? Welcome to our home. My husband's told me so much about you. Andressa, what the fuck is going on? Did I misspeak? Maybe, girl, a little bit, yes. I'm surprised you're married to mom. 
I can't no, go no, back no. to Earth, Mark. Not ever. All right, you're all done with Mom and all done with Earth. Good to know. That's not what I wanted to show you. What else there's could you more. possibly... Yeah... Of course, there's a baby. Of course, there's a baby. Of course, there's a baby. How did that happen? How the fuck... How the hell did that happen? Let me stop. Woo! Bro! Fucking kidding me. Poor Mark. No! Wait, what? How did he do that? Oh, I guess he... Yeah, I guess he's done it before, so... Oh, did he miss his brother? Living clone. Not this time. No, 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 I was there. I remember the machine, Angstrom, the explosion. Of course you do. You have all of my memories, my experiences. Because... I'm the clone. This is going to be so much better. Is it? Debbie, it's uh, it's Donald. Donald, go on somewhere. Leave Debbie alone. Honestly, even just the score, the music for the score is so good. Like all of those things, just they matter so much to me. That's why I love this show. <gasps> what is going on with Donald? Is he a clone? What do you have to say for yourself, sir? I, I don't. I don't even know what to say. You just replaced us, except. You know, bugs. I didn't replace you, Mark, or your mother. I was lost when I left Earth. I found these people. I saved lives. It was like I had a purpose again. It felt right to stay and help them. Oh, so now you're a good guy, right? Here, not on Earth. You don't have to forgive me. Good. But he is innocent in all this. Innocent in what? The Viltrumite rules of interbreeding are not complicated. Rules of... Oh, Jesus. Yeah. We're only allowed to procreate with genetically similar species. Humans, for example. You are a Viltrumite in almost every way. Except I'm not a monster. Tell him, Mark. Well, it's true. By now, Viltrum knows I've left my post, and they'll find this planet. And when they do, they'll see your brother as inferior and kill him. We can stop them together. You almost killed me, then lied to me to get me here. And now you want me to risk my life to save some kid you had with another woman while still married to mom? What I did on Earth was unforgivable. But your brother will die without our Ugh, oh, so Jesus. manipulative. You're the reason they're in danger. You signed their death warrant, not me. Help me save them. How can I help? I couldn't even beat you. We can start training right away. Get you ready for what's coming. Mark? I'm thinking. Oh, shit. I don't think you have much time to think anymore, son. Oh, damn. You only get time to train. Viltrumite soldiers. Mark, get Andressa and your brother to safety. Where? Andressa will show you. Go. There's no time. Go. What is this place? The caves of Roclaim. Uh, my people have used these caverns as a refuge in times of trouble and violence. We'll be safe here. You never told me what his name is. We allow children to choose their own name once they come of age. Thraxan lifespans aren't like humans. Only one of your years. Whoa! One year? Seriously? It's never seemed short to me. From what Nolan says, we do certain things quicker than your kind. Growing? Learning, loving. I want you to know it's not how you think. I didn't knowingly try to replace your mother. Your father saved my life and the lives of many others. I fell in love with him before I knew his story. These people are really trying to make me sympathize with this person, and I refuse. Nolan loves and misses you. Even if he can't say it to you, he said it to me. Ooh! Huh? Shit! <sighs> Oh, it's true. 
The great Nolan fathered a child with an Earth woman. What do you want? You. If you fight well, we may allow you to join the Empire. If not, you'll die. Stay back. Maybe I wasn't... Nolan made another child? With these disgusting creatures? Insect like these creatures. He is not prepared for this. Stay away from my children, Luke. You knew the consequences when you had them. I know. Mark? Dad! We're fine. Mark sheltered us. Good. Andressa, go deeper into the caves. Mark, come with me. There's two more. Girl, I would just get rid of get rid of Nolan's dud. Kick that shit out the window. Debbie? Are you home? Can I come in? Set. Art. I called, but you didn't pick up. Uh, oh, Mark Hamill! I see how you're doing. I don't even know why I miss Nolan so much. He's barely around. I always thought you were the strong one to handle your life the way you did. No one has superpowers. He's indestructible. That's not strength. That's having it easy. You, you've got strength. Living with Nolan, standing up to him, raising Mark the way you did. Love that Mark Hamill comes in with the fucking real talk. Nolan was always off fighting something and you made things work without him. Now, it's just official. You don't need the bum. <laughs> you never did. Yeah, you don't need the bum. Does he? So I guess he does not remember what happened to him. More importantly, who is making clones or robots or whatever the fuck he is? Why do you know Cecil's shit? Why would Cecil let you know his shit? Big mistake, Cecil. So he definitely died. Oh god, how is this gonna go down? They about to get, well, Mark is about to get his ass whopped, probably. Everybody's dead. Oh! Insects didn't stand a chance. Dad? Why? Why do I care about them? They were weak. Short lived. It's called Barely fucking appreciated. empathy and humanity, bro. They shouldn't matter to me. That doesn't mean they should die. You don't understand. I'm not supposed to feel this way. This is how you should have felt on Earth. There's the great Nolan. Lucan found you first, I see. Lucan was weak. Now he's dead. Then he deserved his fate. Like these insects. You barely touch them, and they die. I'll kill you for what you did to these people. Then do it. Because you're no. You gonna have to, Mark, baby. I need you to toughen up. I love how sensitive you are, but right now it's do or die time. Cause if you don't kill this bitch, you gonna die. She looks like she's just having a walk in the park. Mark, you gotta tough it up! 
Mark, what are you doing? She's tearing you apart. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Stop holding back or you're going to get us both killed. I'm not holding back. Yes, you are. She's trying to kill you, Mark. If you're not trying to kill her, you're going to die. Don't think. Act. You need to fight like a Biltramite. Mark, you no. gotta kill her. I don't kill people. If you don't do this, we're all dead. You, me, your brother, and every single Thraxon on this planet. As much as I hate it, he's right, because he's a Viltrumite. You have to kill them, or they will kill you. She's fucking you up, Mark. She's slicing the shit out of you. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her! Get her! She's stunned! Don't let up! Go kill her some more! Cannot let up on them. Slow, Mark. Are you okay? No. No, man. No. Neither of us are okay. It's over. His back is broke. He done broke his back. Time to kill somebody. Make sure they're dead. Wow. Debbie, think this over. I have thought it over. I've been thinking about it all night. I don't want Nolan's book money. The survivors in Chicago need it more than I do. And if you can't find a way to get it to them, I will. Debbie? You wouldn't be protesting half as much if the money wasn't a way to keep a hold on Mark. And on me. If you change your mind... I won't. He's never in the place that you think he is. I miss that demon guy. The demon detective guy. He was cool. I wish they would bring him back. Mark. Don't forget the good I did. My work. My deeds. My books. Yeah, books! Man, fuck the books! Read my books, Mark. Read the books. Fuck the books, man. Well, that's not gonna happen, because, uh. Debbie say, fuck you, book money, I'm out. The Invincible Gun. Mm. I know mm. that's not me. Donald, where the hell are you? We've got a situation. You're alive. Oh shit. My dad. What are you doing? Don't speak. My name is General Cree. You've survived your first true battle and proven yourself worthy of your Viltramite heritage. Go fuck you. <laughs> Hey, Mark, you can't Your just father, be like Luke that with these fucks. You will assume his mission and prepare the planet for our rule. I know this may not appeal to you, given your sympathies. So I'll put it like this. You can kill a few humans to convince them to capitulate, or we will kill millions if we arrive to find you or your planet still defiant against us. We will check on your progress soon. Good luck on your mission. Man. Ooh. Now, what is y'all building? Uh, messy wiring. Sloppy welding. Obviously the work of a clone. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Why stop at one idiot clone when I could have so many more? Go poison your ass. Oof. No wonder your burgundy on is terrible. You can't even make decent lemonade. 
He did poison your ass. Of course. Of course he did. My bourguignon is exquisite, you jackass. And so is my lemonade. When it's not laced with a modified mycotoxin, that is. Damn! Sometimes things are the way they are for a good fucking reason. Yee! Ooh, what a brutal couple of episodes. Omni Man returns. I'm gonna give this an 8.5. I'm having a great time. Let's talk about it. <laughs> um, so that was good. It got really, really hairy um, towards the end of that uh, second episode. You know, seeing freaking Noland again and seeing what he's been up to since he left Earth and seeing how, you know, I mean, I, I guess it's what you call a rebound. You know, he needed something, I suppose, to bring him out of that um, depression that he was in. Uh, it's, a, it's a great storyline, especially for Mark. That's why I like it so much. I still cannot stand Nolan. I still cannot stand those damn Viltrumites, but they do represent a really compelling antagonist. Like, oh God, so terrifying. They're terrifying. And I do agree with what Nolan was telling him uh, towards the end. When you're fighting them, you can't be soft. You can't be sensitive. You can't care about their lives because they don't care about yours and they're gonna try to take yours. So you need to try to take theirs too. The voice of that last guy, General Krieg, um, he definitely, it definitely sounds familiar. I know I've heard it in several things before, video games, movies, and I could actually picture his face. I just can't remember his name because I, I, I smoke a lot and my memory is terrible. Don't fucking touch me. Um, I'm going to give this two episodes. I'm going to give them an 8.5 again, because as good as they are, I know there's better coming. I just know there is. It's, like I said, this series um, and the way that Robert Kirkman especially writes, is it's just going to keep going. It's just, just going to escalate and escalate and escalate. It's going to get better and better and better. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be giving out some 9.5s and 10s or whatever before the season is over. Um, I think it's just taking a little bit longer for me personally for it to get going. Although, I really have to say, Ellen the Alien story was so good. Um, it, rape, it made me really emotional. And it sucks what happened to him. And that there's a mole in the coalition that's supposed to be, like, our only hope of, you know, one day maybe hopefully defeating the Viltrumites. And I'm assuming that the Guardians of the Globe are going to need to get involved at some point because they are coming. And Mark's going to have to go and prepare the Earth. So yeah, I'm just really looking forward to seeing that escalation and that drama happen. Like, what is he going to do when he gets back? You know, how is he going to defend the Earth against these vicious-ass Viltrumites? Like, he could barely survive one or three, I guess. What is he going to do against a whole army of these motherfuckers? And then, you know, what the hell is Cecil going to do? Like, what's his game plan for something like a Viltrumite invasion? Like, how uh, does he have anything? Anything at all? Because I don't think the Guardians of the Globe are going to quite cut it. Um, and then there's something about... I thought it was super odd that Nolan was babbling about his books right at the same time that Debbie was talking about not wanting the book money and then giving the books away. And then, and then, okay, woo, 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 okay, my brain, because in the first couple of episodes, or one of those episodes, the, the way that they defeated the other Nolan and Mark in the other universe was like this experimental weapon, and there was a book in that box that said something about a weapon, so it just, there's something there. Anyway, I really enjoyed that and I cannot wait to watch the next two episodes. If you like what you see, please like the video. And if you want to see me react to more uh, Invincible Season 2, subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.